football, basketball. We got a whole lot of football. Straight up. That's all we talking about right now. You're betting 10, 20, 50, 100. The friendly wager with the homie. Bet credits. This is the podcast for you, not industry professionals. Just trying to give you a quick flip off of the sports ting. No long talking, no lies, no limits. This is No Cap Bets. Today is July 28, 2022. Giving you the best picks against the spread for your CFL weekend. I do the homework. You're winning the picks. This episode has been brought to you by BetStamp. Line shopping for the most valuable odds. Any game I'm placing a wager on, I go there first. I'm going to decide which books got the best payout. I track my bets and it's off to the races. Download the BetStamp app now. Use the promo code NOCAPBETS. Once again, that's BetStamp with the promo code NOCAPBETS bets no cap recap montreal goes up against ottawa they narrowly escaped that one winning 40 to 33 mind you it was on the road so respect due to the alouettes for that one and ottawa just grinded no wins on the year but they're in every game it seems like that's what i kind of like about the cfl bc lions they had their hands full up against the hamilton tiger cats 17 12 i kind of expected after a bye and a loss to the Bombers. You would have thought that BC would have showed up, showed out a little bit more, but it could say that Hamilton's starting to tighten the screws up on defense. They just need their offense to come together. Uh, half of Saskatchewan's team had COVID and still managed to have a seven point lead with about four minutes left in the fourth quarter, only for the Argos to put up 17 unanswered. Argos win, stay on top of the East at three and two score was 41 to 31 and the bombers they just can't be stopped they went up against the elks and it was super just light work straight up 24 10 looked too easy for them uh i don't even think they tried but this week's games coming up this weekend's games some crucial ones in terms of division matchups uh a lot of east versus east teams west versus west teams i mean not a lot there's really four games a week but crucial nonetheless, and we know why you came, is for me to lock them up. So that's what we're about to do. As soon as we come back from the break, you're listening to No Cap Bet. Check out the Body Right Podcast on Apple, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Bless you know what that means. It's time for the locks. You're listening to No Cap Bets, official No Cap Bets on Instagram. Let's get right to it. First game, we got Montreal Alouettes. They're two and a half point underdogs against Hamilton. Hamilton's at home. This line's two and a half. I'm going to call it something that in sports we say is the eye test. That's what we're going to call it on this one. Throw the standings out the window because both teams are trying to avoid losing ground in the East up against the first place Argos who might just run away with this one. Hamilton's capable of putting up points. That's no question. They just haven't done it yet. They're the second best passing game in the league. 270 plus yards or something like that. But they're struggling to get it in the end zone. So 19 and a half points per game, eighth in the league. That's just not going to cut it in their record reflects that. So they need a team like Montreal off of a road win against the league's worst team, mind you, the Ottawa Red Blacks. They gave up 33 points and they're eighth in the league in allowing 29 points a game. So do you take the team that can't put up the points or the team that allows the most points? Home field advantage for me is a big one in this win. So it gives me hope that the Thai Cats look like the team that we saw ahead and make two back to back Great Cup final appearances. Montreal's 4 and 2 ATS, big risk. Once again, though, I'm taking a look at the eye test and I'm going to say back to back road wins, especially because that one was close. It was a little bit of a slugfest are not likely for the Owls, given Hamilton has already dropped two at home. Tim Hortons Field, you don't go to Tim Hortons Field and just walk out with a win. I, I'm going to say Tiger Cats by a field goal and some change. Hamilton two and a half. We're moving on to the next game. Our next game is going to be Saskatchewan and the BC Lions. Now, this one's at two and a half. I got to really point out that Saskatchewan's trying to avoid a three game skid. They're favored in this game. And they completely collapsed against the Argos. Mind you, half of the team had COVID. But they collapsed. And they've lost to the Argos twice. 
in as many weeks while BC's 4-1 tied for second in the West with Calgary. BC came into the season hot and a big reason was because of QB Nathan Rourke. First in passing TDs, third in passing yards. The guy's got NCAA experience. He's repping Oakville. Like, what's not to love about this kid? But they ran into the juggernauts, the one pack two bombers, and they got humbled 40 to 22. Next week, they win, but they only put up 17 points up against Hamilton. And it's just not the high flying defense that we were once accustomed to seeing. I shouldn't even say accustomed. That's what, just what we saw in the first few weeks. So now you're on the road against Saskatchewan, a team that could stay on the field with a nice running game. I think it's the best running game. And it's tough in the CFL, as I mentioned, to get these road wings, get your offense going on the road. The fashion in which Saskatchewan lost was crazy. Like they literally had a game and just gave up 17 points. So this is going to be tough. Like they're going to have a lot to prove at home. Cody Fajardo, their starting quarterback, is back from COVID. There are he had some MCL issues. There's COVID tests, so there's a lot of questions going on around Saskatchewan right now. But to lock them up right now as a two and a half point favorite, I don't even think they should be favored given all of the suspect situations that's going on with injuries and COVID tests and whatever. So. Just off of the strength of the intel, man, I got to go with BC. We're going to take BC, the dogs, two and a half. I bet they're winning it outright, um, and that's a lock right there. Next game, Calgary, they're up against the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. I don't have to tell you this is a big bro, little bro. You guys heard my take on this last week, two weeks ago, sorry. And if you take a look at this, the Stampeders, they've got one loss on the year. But to guess who? the top shots of the CFL, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. When they played a couple weeks ago, the score was 26-19, respectable. Stamps kept it close. It was 2019 for a long time in that game. And that line was three and a half. And I'm not sure what home field advantage is for the Stamps. I don't know how great they are at home or whatever. I didn't really look into that. But if you had said that the Stamps were three-point dogs, we might have a conversation. But when you put the line at one, you're just like basically asking me who you who I think's winning the game. Like if you put the if you put Winnipeg and Calgary in Antarctica, I don't care where they're playing the game. Calgary, you could play it at Bo Levi Mitchell, the Calgary starting quarterback's house. It doesn't in his backyard. It doesn't matter. I'm taking the Winnipeg Blue Bombers every time. I just don't think that this is the week where they lose, uh, and you know their undefeated streak is broken. So that's pretty much the lock right there. You heard it right here on No Cap Bets. We're taking the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. And uh, our last game is the Argos. They're up against the Ottawa Red Blacks. <laughs> Top of the East versus bottom of the East. Ottawa can't get a win. I don't know what you want me to say. There's no way you're going to have me take them. And I'll, I'll stand on that. Argos are looking dangerous. They're finding ways to win games come back on the road last week like i mentioned a few times on the show already and it's credit to the defense they got a pick six pretty much closed out a game two weeks ago special teams they they got a forced fumble pretty much put the casket on them the dagger right there and when i think about their offense they were like a couple weeks ago they were fighting on the sidelines because they know that they're really better than what how they look uh I think Speedy Banks, the receiver, he's one of the top receivers in the CFL. You got a, a, a running back vet, Harris, been got a couple great cups with Winnipeg over here, still trying to show what he's got. And you, your your quarterback is decent. I mean, I don't I don't know how where he stands in terms of the best quarterbacks in the CFL, but we call him Macbeth. And we're doing we're we're hitting that game up live, the no cap bets vibes over there at bmo field so i mean i don't really have no choice i told you guys last week i hate going against my home team saskatchewan got covid and didn't cover so i shouldn't have went against my home team and now i'm going to the game so i'm back at them either way you could say i'm betting it with my heart it doesn't even matter uh toronto's three and two ats and three and two on the year i'm looking for them to go four and two both ways it's the Toronto Argos with my fourth and final 
lock. So we got it all pretty much summed up that way. First game, we're taking the Hamilton Tiger Cats. We're taking the BC Lions. A lot of underdogs I'm rocking with, except, well, not really. It's half and half. We got Winnipeg Blue Bombers, one-point favorites. And then we're going to definitely take the Toronto Argonauts this week. If you liked everything that you heard, make sure you subscribe, like, if you're watching us on YouTube, comments up in the comments, please and thank you. Uh, we appreciate every little listen right now. You know, we're still building on it. So uh, you're listening to No Cap Bets. Make sure you follow us on Instagram, official No Cap Bets. And it's been another episode. We'll be back with a recap. You know how it goes. And check us out on Insta for the live or maybe YouTube too for the live vlog at the Toronto Argos game. You already know. Been another episode of No Cap Bets. Bless up.